In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best study tool for nursing school. If you're interested in this, then keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Pygmonic. I'm going to be doing a review and also a quick tutorial so you guys can know how to use it. Okay guys, so first, let's start by saying what is Pygmonic. So Pygmonic is an audiovisual learning tool that will help you remember everything that you need to know for nursing school. So it basically uses uh, like funny characters. It tells you a short story and that will help you remember the concepts. Also, this is extremely effective because it is short stories and this will save you time instead of like reading chapter and other things for nursing school if you watch the short videos sometimes they're like 30 seconds i'm one minute two minutes this will save you a lot of time and you will remember everything okay guys so pigmonic you can find it in the website at pigmonic.com they also have an app for ios and android devices you can just type pigmonic and you can look it up for pigmonic you can sign up totally free and you can watch one pigmonic and do the one quiz each day so you you get one pick money free every day and if you get the subscription you can get access to everything that is on pickmonic.com so guys if you would like to get 20% off of your pickmonic subscription then make sure to click my link down below also I wanted to talk about the book that pickmonic has it's right here thank you pickmonic for sending me this book so this is a four weeks to end click workbook this is a study planner you can use it in conjunction with pickmonic I'm going to do a close-up and also I'm going to show you how to use pickmonic in just a second okay guys so let me show you really quickly the pigmonic four weeks to the NCLEX workbook I study planner thank you so much pigmonic for sending me this you can find this in Amazon I can leave the link down below if you guys would like to purchase it this is a study planner and workbook that you can use when you are studying for the NCLEX so I haven't used it yet because I'm not studying for the NCLEX but I will certainly use it when I start studying for the NCLEX so the first thing that you see is how to use this planner and how to use pigmonic then you have a calendar and then you have a weekly view for this it tells you the things you need to work on you have space to write that they give you some advice and then for each day they give you pigmonic that you have to watch basically it and right here you can write your schedule for the day and it tells you for example in this one you have to watch five pigmonic when you flip the page you have week one activity so they give you an activity fill in the blank activity and then right here you can see this is a picture from the pigmonic app you have to use this in conjunction with the pigmonic so when you watch the pigmonic on your computer or your phone then you come here and you fill in the blank so basically for this one you have to write the lab value and then you have space to take notes so this is how it looks like if you would like to purchase this again it will be on the link down below you can get it from amazon and you see right here you have more activities and this is what you basically get on each week so this is great if you need a sense of structure because they give you everything Thing that you have to do for that day so that's amazing you also have space to write down things that you have to do and when are you gonna do them they also give you advice on each page this is great see more fill in the blank this is also a fun thing to do because you have characters it doesn't feel like you're really studying and the characters help you remember the information better so yeah that's it for the pigmonic workbook such a great tool that i'm definitely going to use when i start studying for the end clicks Okay guys, so I'm going to be showing you is the app. So um, I have it right here. Uh, I'm going to be putting uh, the video right here next to me so you can see it. So uh, I like to use that app. I also have it on my phone. It's very convenient. It's easy to use. So basically uh, on the top, uh, you can uh, play uh, the pigmonic or if you have questions too for your daily quiz, that's where you will uh, click on it and then you will go to your daily quiz then your day streak you have the xp uh basically you get points every day if you um have made a pigmonic if you do the question so it's basically like a game so uh you have a goal that you have to reach every day and yeah basically so and then you get your recently viewed pigmonics then you get a recommended they also have pre-recorded webinars uh, giving you uh tips on how to study for the NCLEX or other tips on how to basically let's say answer NCLEX style questions they have a lot of pre-recorded webinars and you can also find them in their youtube channel they also have a youtube channel and it's uh pigmonic so you can just search it up and you can uh, go see the youtube channel and yeah they also have like infographic like this one and yeah basically and then you can on the bottom you can search 
the pigmani you're looking for then you have the option to browse so you have it by courses body system book and clicks hesi and ati then you also have the option to have a playlist so you can make your own playlist or you can add existing playlists that they have that's basically it for the app is very easy to use okay so i'm recording my screen now so when you come into Pigmonic and you have an account, this is the first thing that you're going to see. So right here on the top, we have the questions due today. I already did my questions for today. And then you have your quiz accuracy. So basically it depends on uh, how you answer your questions, if you get them right or wrong. Then you have your XP goal. So when I think about Pigmonic, uh, I think about it like as a game. So basically you have a goal for each day. I have 25, I have to uh, reach 25 each day. And then when you scroll down to my achievements, they have like a league. So basically competing uh, among others, person has the most XP when the league ends. So for the league to end, I have three days and eight hours in order for me to get my stuff together and try to win it. You understand? So I like it. It's, uh, I feel like it's a healthy competition and I feel like it really motivates me to see like, oh, I am um, advancing in the league and stuff like that. So let's go back to the top. So right here, you will have, uh, if when you have questions due, you can click, uh, there's gonna be a green button right here and then you can click it and you can start your questions. Right here, you have find a topic to learn. You can basically search any topic or any category you would like to search for. Then right here, there's usually an, uh, basically an advertisement, but of the same Pigmonics. Uh, so basically they have a webinar that's coming up on February the 19th. And they usually have a lot of webinars all the time. So that's great. You can RSVP so you can uh, watch it. And then you have a quick start list. So basically you have a recommended Pigmonics, you have recent, uh, and then you have, you can click the weakest, what are you weak on, and you can do it again. And then you have what's trending, updated, playlist, and the things that you have bookmarked. You can also bookmark stuff so that if you wanna go back quickly. And then uh, I also show you this, this is my achievements. I also already talked about this. And then you have all your achievements right here. So right here on the bottom is basically, uh, basically a calendar to see uh, how many XP you got on each day. And then you got a streak. So basically, if you do it consistently for like every day, you will get like a streak. Yeah, basically. So then you have your stats. So right here, the first thing that we have is the calendar. It tells you which day you did your Pigmonic. And then right here, which Pigmonic videos you have played, how many questions you have answered, and then your streak length. So it basically tells, so for example, on Saturday I did 108 questions and uh, on Tuesday I did 101. So that's basically uh, what it tells you right here. So this is basically uh, your quiz with, with space repetition. So if you don't know what space repetition is, I'm going to leave you a link down below basically is depending on how you answer the question if you answer it right or wrong you will see it again the next day and then let's say in the two days you will see it again uh, and the next week you'll see it again and so you remember it and you don't forget it and then you have your your quiz queue uh, so basically how many you have completed how many you have remaining and how many you have to do tomorrow right here on the bottom you have like the courses and then you have a recommended section so that's basically it for your homepage. Now I'm going to show you the browse section. When you click browse right here on the left, have the first thing you have recommended or recent, by the way, you can hide this. So you can see all of the things that you can choose from. So, so the first thing we have is courses. So you can search Pigmonic by courses if you don't find the, the book that you're using. For example, uh, my book for uh, mental health nursing is not here, but I, I can search by the course. So let's right here, psychiatric nursing. So you see, you have the disorder, substance related, psychiatric pharmacology and stuff like that. But when we go back, find body systems. So if you can't find your course, you can just go by body system. So we have right here, all of the body systems and then you have the books. So they have a lot of books to choose from. For example, let's see right here, the NCLEX are in examination. So basically in each book section, you get the pigmonics that are related to the content that's inside of the book. Uh, this, is, this is all of the books they have. They have a wide variety of the, of the books for the end click we have one for HESI for ATI you have my playlist you can make a playlist with um, 
the things that you want to see you can see my pigmonic so actually uh, you can make your own pigmonic with your own characters and stuff I'm not going to be showing you how to do that today because I will be uh, like a two-hour video <laughs> leave the link down below of the basically the website that can show you how to do that so you when you click everything you have every pigmonic basically that's for um, nursing so that's basically it on the browse section then you have a playlist section uh, then you go back to home and then you can go to create so right here this is how it looks like and you want to create a new pigmonic and right here they have a video so if you would like to watch that i will make sure to link it down below that's basically everything that pigmonic is and i already showed you the app so let me just show you an example of how one of them looks so let's go to hematocrit lab valley when you click on it this is what you get so this is it this is basically the characters and then they're gonna tell you a short story so the short story is only one minute so this is great right here you can do captions you have settings uh, for audio related stuff you can put it on full screen you have the audio right here you can choose how fast the video goes you can choose if uh, if you want to see the educational story or the uh, regular story so in the educational story they tell you um, basically the educational things that you have to know and on the story they use the characters and they tell you the story based on what the characters are doing so then you have review uh, they ask you the question so what does this represent and you can review it like that and it tells you right here the information and then you have the quiz so for this particular one you only have two questions there are uh, some quizzes that have 10 questions uh, there are some quizzes that have five or three it actually depends on the content that you're learning and uh, basically how long is the pigmonic and how long how many things do you need to know based on what you're learning in that certain pigmonic so, yeah basically and if you need a hint you can show it you can show the character so uh, this is a very good for those that don't have a lot of time they will like to remember a certain concept like the, the hematocrit lab okay guys so i'm going to tell you really quickly how i personally use pigmonic whenever i have a lecture and i finish the lecture i see what the lecture was about the topic that i need to learn right and then i go to pigmonic i look for the topic and then i learn it depending on how i answer the question if i answer it wrong or right then it will keep coming up in the in my daily quiz and then every day i do my daily quiz sometimes it takes 10 minutes sometimes it takes 20 it depends on um how many questions i have so yeah that's basically how i use it it's very simple it's uh helps me a lot it helps me remember a lot it's also very short which i love because i don't really have time to be reading a whole chapter of 20 to 50 pages that i could just watch my pigmonic that is one to two minutes and i could just learn it really quickly so this is how i personally use it okay guys so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below and click the notification button bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you guys would like to get that 20% off of your Pigmatic subscription then make sure to click my link down below. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias because I post more tips and stuff related to nursing school there. So I'm going to be doing another giveaway very soon so make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. You can be up to date on the giveaway.